Sanford Health officials and community members gathered around the Nameless Coalition's new Homeless Day Center today, where a groundbreaking ceremony took place that will help many people in need of shelter in the Bemidji area. Reporter Emma Hudziak was there, and she tells us more. Well, you know, something is official when new trees are planted and speeches are given. The former Upper Mississippi Mental Health Center is officially no longer. Sanford Health of Bemidji was gracious enough to donate the building to the Nameless Coalition for the Homeless for the purpose of operating a day center for people looking to get out of the elements. The Nameless Coalition, and we are, just to be clear, we operate the Wolf Shelter downtown Bemidji. We've been looking at trying to have round-the-clock services uh, basically since we opened the shelter, and it's always been a matter of space and opportunity and funding. And uh, in the last year or so, everything kind of gelled and came together to acquire this space. And, um, and we had a, a, a funding opportunity um, pop up through the Department of Employment and Economic Development. Once the Minnesota Department of Employment and Economic Development awarded the city of Bemidji with a renovation grant, they were able to start making plans for future changes. But this project would not have been possible without the donation from Sanford Health. Well, we are in the 15th Street building, which used to be the Upper Mississippi um, Behavioral Health Center. And um, Sanford and Upper Mississippi came together as partners in 2017. And since then, we've outgrown this building. And so um, we've donated it to the Nameless Coalition so that they can turn it into a day center. A project like this will need some upgrades and changes, but with a $600,000 grant given by deed, it will make these renovations possible. It's a little bit dated. Um, the roof is leaking. Um, it needs um, a, a sprinkler system, fire suppression system. Um, uh, it needs a, a elevator for or a wheelchair lift. So those are the big things that we're going to be fixing um, in the in the coming year. Um, so it's a, just a wonderful day. Jarvis shared that this building has a great legacy for providing services that have been provided for decades. Both Stanford Health and Nameless Coalition hope that this building offers help to people in the community that need it. Well, as you can see, the new homeless center is a bit of a fixer-upper, but Nameless Coalition is excited for the new floor plans to be set in place. Reporting Bemidji, Emma Hudziak, Lakeland News. A ribbon-cutting ceremony should take place for the new center sometime next year. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.